Well, I'm hoping everybody writes tests, right? Like, I mean, UI people a lot of times get away without writing a lot of tests that claim it's impossible. But Flutter is pretty cool because it has, a, well, actually, a lot of the really good people. You know what? Why did I say that? If you're listening to this, you're interested in testing. So ignore what I just said. The thing about Flutter, one of the things I brought Flutter I really like is it has testing built in, right? It, all the projects, when they're code gen or generated by default, have a test jig. And another thing I like about it is it has test coverage built in. So if you write a <clears throat> set of tests and you want to get coverage, you can just type Flutter test dash dash coverage and you're going to get an LCOV file out of it. LCOV. So what I want to do, well, but, but what we really want to do is we want to be able to do this inside of Visual Studio Code. So what we're going to do is use two plugins, super easy, Flutter coverage, <clears throat> which integrates, you know, I don't know what it does. Oh, it integrates with running Flutter test dash dash coverage, right? And we're also going to use this thing called coverage gutters. And what that does is it looks at the LCOV file and it displays everywhere you got code coverage in the gutters. And so it'll actually work for any language. So if you have this plug plugin done and you have any test jig set up that'll generate code coverage, then you're good in Visual Studio Code. So I have this really simple app. I used another thing. It's just a single page, blah, blah, blah. Does a media query, puts it up, right? What's cool about that? All in one file. What's ne negative of that code coverage? I pretty much get everything or nothing, I guess. So we'll find out. And then I created this empty foo.dart file just to show that we don't get coverage on everything. <clears throat> so if you install those two plugins I just showed you, and you come over to the test jig, right? You can see I have a couple tests, and I've got this coverage thing. And <clears throat> there's no coverage yet, right? Because I haven't actually run any coverage. So let's try it. And what I did find is when you install these plugins, I would just quit and restart the app. I played with this just a minute ago and I installed the plugins and the coverage did not work the way I expected. And I quit and restarted as you do with all things on Windows and it just worked. So <clears throat> I wanna run code coverage. If you don't see this here, because I've seen that before too, then you gotta run test coverage by hand one time. Um, but if you've got this up, you can just generate coverage here. The thing I would say though, is the way this works is you have to watch, right? It'll actually, couldn't find a coverage file, right? So it didn't actually show no coverage here. So what I wanna do now though, is I can either run flutter test dash dash coverage, or I can run this here, click on this, run test coverage. And remember, I got two plugins, flutter coverage and gutters, right? Coverage gutters. So if I run the test coverage, we'll see if this works after I restart it. Oh, there you go. Now. <clears throat> what you see here is this file has a bunch of widgets in it and the green down here means it's got coverage and there's no conditionals in here. So no Lambda is nothing else. I haven't tested it with the Lambda yet. The only thing that we didn't test was the main program, which makes sense because I have a test jig that's going to run this app, generate a golden image. And that means run app isn't going to work. I didn't run it. So this is the only piece of coverage. So I don't know what's happening here. Let me try this. Oh, there we go. So if I hit reload, it knows that I have 94% coverage in lib, right? And that's because that's the only file I'm looking at. So it's a little weird. So you can see here, 94% coverage in here, and that's because this 6%. But I, I do have this other program, right? So if I pull it up, I'm like, well, I don't know. I did, there's no coverage at all. Well, that makes sense. Um, and that's because this thing was just an extra file I put in here. And you can see here, that it didn't show any coverage for that. It, it really should come up with zero, but I think the LCOV report, if there's zero coverage, doesn't show the file in it. And so this thing just shows you what's in the coverage report. That's all there is to this, right? You just run, <clears throat> load those two plugins that I showed you before. Coverage gutters and flutter coverage. And then you can, because test coverage is built in, Flutter coverage gives you this tab and coverage gutters gives you all this green stuff. And that's it. You, there is no excuse for not looking at your test coverage in a Flutter app. Well, except that you don't believe in testing. Um, so that's it. I hope that's useful. Less than four or five minutes. Cool. Out of here. Have a great day.